Hey guys, my wife left me here alone for 10 whole days. Can you believe that? Uh, my mother-in-law and another lady, uh, I'll put a picture. They are going, they took a ferry two days ago to go to the interior on a motorcycle adventure. Motorcycle mama. One, I won't just, well, I'll say the other lady's age is, um, she's 80, in her 80s. So you got two motorcycle mamas, senior motorcycle mamas, off on a, uh, uh, on a wild adventure. So uh, my wife went into town to take care of her dad and I'm staying here taking care of the garden and we got a bunch of stuff to do. So I figured uh, I'd just hang out here and and uh, I won't be here all by myself the whole time because my son and Ashley's coming out for a night. So that would be, that'd be fun. I got Gunner here. I got him a little place to lay down. First things first is I tore a CV boot on the uh, ATV. So we're going to replace that and then uh, we were trying to we're trying to get uh, a trail built back to the tent so I can put the tractor in the tent uh, but I'm not above failures and I'll put a little video clip of the day I brought her back to town because it was a simple cut one tree down but the tree started to go and then it just got hung up I've and I I figured that's what was going to happen but long story short is I got to finish bucking up that tree that we got down and uh, then finish making the trail going back to the tent so let's start with the ATV uh, no my patch job didn't hold well anyways I squirted some dirt up I mean I squirted some dirt I squirted some uh, grease up in that boot and I covered it with duct tape, but the duct tape just fell off. So uh, we'll back this trailer up and, and then pull back forward. And dude, my new tractor, I just I hook a chain up to this ATV and uh, lift it, lift the butt end up with the tractor. And it's too easy. And then I stick a stump underneath it. Uh, yeah, let's get this jockey into position. Now at the, I worked at a gold mine for a few years and I drove a tractor trailer there underground because we had to bring, it was a, a hard rock mine so it was all blasting, blasting holes into a mountain and, and they, uh, but it was also a scope mine so they would need concrete so me and a friend would drive, well what, I mean there was other teams but um, I would drive uh, a tractor trailer a big semi truck uh, full of cement mix underground and we'd have to get in a in a cross cut and turn around and back it up it was like the old um, old uh, fire trucks where you had like a guy on a rear steer because we'd pull in and the guy on the rear steer would have to uh, help help guide you back into this little into the um, into where they were making the the cement but uh, very interesting long story short is Man, trying to back these little short trailers up on an ATV, I mean, it doesn't matter how big of a rig you can back up, because I back my boat up all the time, I back semi trucks up. These are just rough, it's hard. The shorter the trailer, the harder it is to back up. So if you are having a little tiny trailer and you're trying to back it up and having a hard time, dude, I've been backing stuff up for years and I have a hard time backing these little things up there rants over so just feel better about yourself small trailers are hard to back up i bought some new uh jerry cans um because once we bought the tractor we were starting to go through diesel like nobody's business but we run uh number one diesel in the oil stove and uh, we run number two in the tractor so um, I bought some stencils, so we'll stencil them and, and that way we can tell which one's what. Gotta wait for your glow plugs, it's diesel. Glow plugs good. Get my 
my chain and strap. Hey, this is one of those do as I say, not as I do. Don't ever get underneath a suspended load. There you go. I know it. You know it. Now we all know it. <laughs> I had actually already taken this off yesterday. I took the wheel off. Got. I started disconnecting everything. I didn't have a 30 millimeter socket. And I could not get uh, an adjustable wrench. Not like a crescent wrench, but uh, some... Man, well, I can't think of the name on it. You know, the ones that, that open up wide. But anyways, long story short, is I was just marring up the um, the nut here. So uh, I went to town, got me a 30 millimeter socket, and now we can get to work. There we go. All right, so we got the axle back in there. Now we just got to reassemble all the stuff. That shouldn't be too hard. All right, so we got the ATV all fixed up. Now we're on to project number two. We got to start clearing that path going back to the tent. Uh, here's the tree that I showed you that uh, got hung up yesterday. Dude, mistakes, they just happen. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, hold on, look up there. I mean, I was trying to fall it in between these two trees right here and it just didn't have enough weight up top it just got hung up um anyway and i didn't want to cut this big one down because i like the i like the big trees um anyway so we got to finish getting this guy cut up Right, that's it for the chainsaw fit workout um, I'm gonna get these little guys loaded up and we'll bring them over there uh, to the to the woodshed the woodshed's eventually gonna be moved but for right now that's still where we're consolidating everything 
next video we're going to start cutting down some little tiny trees and we're going to use those trees as fence posts so we can put up that electric fence once and for all. Uh, a lot of things happen fast. We wanted to have that already knocked out, but, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. So, uh, next video we're going to be installing the electric fence. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week.